The world went crazy. Twitter went absolutely nuts this week because Joe Rogan got COVID. Everyone was talking about it. I, I posted um, basically what I heard about it and people freaked out about my tweet. It was going crazy viral. Um, and I was just reporting on what it, what it was, you know. He did take some medicines, a bunch of vitamins, and I said, look, healthy man took some vitamins and, you know, and beat it. Um, of course, he took medicine as well. Um, and I, I want to just make sure everyone knows, you need to do what's best for you. Don't listen to me. I am not a doctor. I'm not giving any medical advice at all. Um, you know, I am just reporting on what happened and what they're talking about. And they are freaking out because he said that he took ivermectin. And that is a hot topic. Everyone is like super against it. And honestly, you should follow your doctor. That's what you should do. Follow your doctor. And, and I'm not giving any sort of medical advice. I just want to make that very clear, YouTube. Uh, I'm not giving any medical advice at all. I'm just reporting on what happened. Um, so Joe Rogan came out on his Instagram. And I'm, I'm just going to play the video for you guys can hear what he said. Here he is. This is from his Instagram. Hello, friends. So I got back from the road Saturday night, feeling very weary. I had a headache and I just felt just run down. And just to be cautious, I separated from my family, slept in a different part of the house. And throughout the night, I got fevers and sweats and I knew what was going on. So I got up in the morning, got tested. And it turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z -Pak, uh prednisone, everything. Uh, and I also got an NAD drip and a vitamin drip. And I did that three days in a row. And so here we are on Wednesday and I feel great. I really only had one bad day. Sunday sucked. But Monday was better, Tuesday felt better than Monday, and today I feel good. I actually feel pretty fucking good. Uh, sorry for the language. That's the good news. I'm, I'm the very bad sorry news about is we have to move. I forgot that he swore. Uh, my bad, I apologize. I don't, uh, I don't swear on my show. I apologize for anyone listening that um, if there's any children in the room, apologies. Um, but you, you heard him there, all right? He took uh, monoclonal um uh antibodies and z-pack which is actually what president trump took when he got covid uh last late last year but then he he, he claimed uh ivermectin and every single person on the internet it felt like they attached to that but they weren't also talking about how he's healthy he was on a vitamin drip as well um he, he was doing all the so he was getting antibodies and but everyone seems to be freaking out about this whole ivermectin thing. And I look, I've gotten every single time I got a strike on my channel is from talking about this exact subject. OK, and I just want to make it very clear, YouTube. All right. I am not condoning anything. OK, I'm not telling anyone to try any of this. I you all should follow your doctor's advice. I am not giving any advice. I am not giving any medical information um, or, or, you know, advised for you to take anything. I'm just reporting on what has happened. Okay. And I was just curious because I didn't know what it was, you know, and I, I just typed it in. I just wanted to find out what it was. And I found an article from nature, uh, nature.com. And it actually has been, um, it's actually pretty incredible. So here's an article from nature.com. It says, um, it is an enigmatic, multifaceted wonder drug continues to surprise and exceed expectations. This is from the Journal of Antibiotics from 2017. And here's just the abstract about it. Over the past decade, the global scientific community has begun to recognize the unmatched value of the extraordinary drug ivermectin that originates from a single microbe unearthed from soil in Japan. Work on ivermectin has seen its discover, uh, discoverer, Satoshi Omura, of Tokyo's prestigious uh, Kitosako, uh, Kitosato Institute, receive the 2014 Gardner Global Health Award and the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physiology of, or Medicine. 
which he shared with a collaborating partner in the discovery and developing of the drug, William Campbell of Merck & Co. Incorporated. Today, ivermectin is continuing to surprise and excite scientists, offering more and more promise to help improve global public health by treating a diverse range of diseases with its unexpected potential as an antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-cancer agent being particularly extraordinary. I was like, oh, that's that's pretty amazing. That's that's pretty um that's pretty pretty great. Um I I you know it's like it's interesting and it feels like people are weaponizing it this whole um dewormer thing like here's a an ohio judge um, actually ordered a hospital to treat a, a covid patient patient with ivermectin and of course they start with um ordered a hospital to give the dewormer drug because it is in fact a horse dewormer that they uh use because it's used for many things um but it seems that it's being politicized and I don't know why it feels like, I mean, maybe I do know why. And I think you know why as well. I think that there is, um, I think it's obvious and I'm not, I, I can't, I can't say it because I don't want to get banned. I don't want to get another strike. I don't want to not stream for a week. I don't have any strikes on my channel currently. But every single strike that I've ever had was just talking about this exact thing. Now, one of my strikes I deserved because I actually was not talking um, exactly specifically how I should have about these kind of things. Because again, I am not um, um, giving any medical advice. I am just reading and reporting on this stuff. Follow your doctor's advice. That is the only thing you should be doing. Don't listen to Joe Rogan either. He even said it himself. Why are these people like mad at me? I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm just talking about my own personal experiences. And it's like, he's right. People, he, you shouldn't listen to Joe Rogan for medical advice. You shouldn't just do your own research online. I mean, you should do your own research, but you should always talk to a medical professional that knows what they're talking about, right? To do, to uh, along any of these things. But so I was talking with, both gothics and carlin this week and we were talking about different things but one thing that was true in the underlying conversations was division was keeping us divided keeping us angry at each other on different different platforms different mediums different subjects at hand and i feel like this is one of those things they really really need to vilify anyone that goes against the mainstream narrative. And that's a frightening premise because they're dehumanizing these people. Oh, they're taking horse medicine. Well, it's actually approved for certain things. All right, not others. It is not federal uh, FDA approved for certain things, but it is for other things. So, you know, you gotta be um, specific when you're talking about that kind of stuff. But I mean, the media is, clearly melting down people are were freaking out about him recovering i mean even today or actually i don't know if it was today let's see here's back to his uh instagram four hours ago tested negative today thanks for all the kind wishes i'm so happy that he he recovered that's amazing I'm really excited about it because you know it's joe rogan i think joe's great uh, I would be honored to be on a show one day and I would love to have him on my show. Just talk to him about who he is, you know, where he's from. I don't know anything about him other than, you know, he likes DMT and, you know, smokes bud and, you know, calls things crazy and has amazing guests on his show. It's like, what a, what a life, right? He just gets to have conversations with people and find out what makes them tick like that's awesome like i love that i love chatting with people i had a great time uh with gothics on my show on wednesday she's she's fantastic she's over on friday night tights right now um which is great i think i think i've i, I just wanted i feel like i had a hand in that and i'm okay with it um <laughs> but and even carlin i mean we were we were it was it got a little heated yesterday during my show but we still came together at the end and was like you know what it was good to have a conversation 
we're not you know combative at the end of it all like we we agreed on certain things we disagreed on on certain things and that's okay civil discourse like let's bring that back let's stop being so divided and i feel like they're using this joe Ro i mean people it felt like people wanted him to to die it felt like they were like they were just waiting for something to happen to him so they can be like we told you so which is sick if you ask me like people that are going there are are sick you don't wish i don't wish any ill on anyone even joe biden i want him to retire in peace because he should he has no business being in that in that seat that dude should have retwi retired years ago in 20, 2016 that dude should have just been like all right cool i'm hanging up my my shoes or my hat whatever the saying goes and just eating ice cream to his heart's content um i mean even nancy pelosi i can't stand that woman i think she's a nightmare i don't wish ill on on her you know that's that's sinking down to their level and i will not do that I, would, I want everyone to live a happy life, all right? I, and everyone, some, some people wish ill on others, and I think that's terrible. And that's what we're seeing. People actually wanted Joe Rogan to succumb to the virus, and that is just, it's appalling to see it. It is uh, sad, but in any case, he's recovered. Joe, I'm very happy for you that you've recovered and you are feeling much better. I'm glad that it worked, uh, the different things that you, you took. Um, and just a reminder to everyone and YouTube, I'm just, I'm not a professional. I'm not a medical professional at all. Please listen to your doctor for medical advice, not the internet. Okay.